Hello and welcome to this introduction on Make Beliefs Comics. Please take a look up here at the spelling of beliefs with the S and comics with the X. So makebeliefscomics.com It's a very simple comic strip maker. It's the low end of the market so it hasn't got as many features as um, Pixton but it does take only 10 minutes to learn so if you've got a few minutes and you want to invest some time this is the one to start with. Okay, so the first thing we do is we go to the middle of the screen and click enter here. Now we're in the comic strip generator. So you'll notice the default setting is three panels and you can see this first panel has a red box around it which means this is the panel we're working in. Down the bottom right of the screen you can see there's two, three or four panel choices so you can adjust this so think about what you want in your comic strip. So in my first panel the first thing I can choose is whether I'm going to have a background colour and there's five simple colours here or do I want a background scene and that's in this section here. So if I click on background scenes I can then use um, this arrow here to scroll through and find what objects are in this area and also there's a couple of backgrounds I'm going to choose the school setting and when I click it it appears in my selection window in my panel. Now I'm going to find a character. If I scroll along and find a character I like and click on it, it pops up, pops up in this selection window here. So again I can use my arrows to scroll through and find a pose that I like. Once I'm happy with it I just click on the pose and it pops up into my panel here and I can move the person around or move anything around by just putting my cursor on it and drag in. Once I have something in the panel I can then decide to scale it so this toolbar on the left hand side if I click scale and click on what I want scaled I can then make it smaller or bigger. What's also useful here is the flip so I can click on flip and turn characters or objects. So that's really good if you want the characters to look as if they're talking to each other. And also notice down here that we've got delete. So again, if you want to delete something, you click on it and you click delete. So let's pop her back in that panel. The next thing I might want to do is to add a talk balloon or a thought balloon. If I click on the balloon, again, it comes in my selection window here and I use my arrows to scroll through and you'll see they're facing left and right and they get smaller as I go through. So I'm just going to choose a very small one and click. And when I want my text in there I just click to add the words and just type what I want my character to say. So I finished this first frame and if I was going to really complete this whole thing I'd click into frame 2 repeat the process, click into frame, frame 3 and repeat the process. But just for this I'm going to finish at this point, I'm going to add a name of my comic and put my name in. The last step then is to click on next. And here is where I put my name again and you have to put your email as well. Okay, so this is from the sender. So if you were sending it to a colleague or a friend or students, you'd put their email addresses in here. But because I want to send it to myself, I'm just going to pop my own email back in here again. Now you must be careful here to make sure you put your email address in correctly. If you don't, you'll lose it. There's no account here that you've created so that it saves. So be careful with your email addresses. That's one little tip. The other tip is when you're creating a Make Beliefs Comics, never hit the back button because you lose your work. OK, I'm hoping you've seen how easy that is to create. I'm going to add some ideas about how you might use it onto the blog. So, happy creating everyone. Click on email comics to finish.